Wow, hello once again. The name is Alex Seva. Here the channel is K2K Electronics. We are back in this video. We're going to see how to interface Arduino and the, our new, not new, it is currently used, but it is new in K2K tutorial, which is 16 by 2 LCD display. Yeah, of course, the one in this video is having is having the I2C adapter. It is the one we're going to learn how to interface it with Arduino. In this video, the more we dive in, we will learn the difference between this one without I2C and this one with the model I2C. We will see they are application how to interface it but we will go more deeply with this we will see how to make their sketches with the arduino of course and then how to upload their sketch after uploading their sketch we will see more manipulations in order to have a beautiful display now trying to look at them in general you will see that the first one without a delta, you will have to connect both. Seven pin, of course, it is a parallel communication of seven pin I/O, which consume like a half of I/O pin of Arduino. But for this, you see that you will need only four connection. It means the four connection for I2C interface. That is the advantage of the one with I2C over this without I2C. Now um, about the similarities you will see that both they have like uh, 16 by 2 pixel it means 32 it can display up to 32 characters or it means either uh, alphabet and numbers and then symbols. After uh, after you see that they have both like the same the same display unity and then the only difference is this adapter. Now this adapter is having like this I two C adapter. You, you see there we have like the pin where you can shoot A zero A one and A two. Those are the pin to determine the address. This comes with a default address, which you will see in the code. But when you you short like the adjacent pin, it means when you short like this this A. If we short that that conductive plate A to the adjacent one, you will like give it another address better to leave it as this so we will use the default address in this tutorial going straight to the pinout you see that you have like four pin as the protocol of as the communication protocol of i2c said you have like gnd which is ground you have vcc you have sda which is serial data and then you have SCL, which is serial clock that is a clock the one is data and then the second the third one is a vcc which is a plus five volts and then the the ground this jumper wire is to providing the backlight is there to provide the backlight if you remove it let's try to remove it and see you will see that our LCD will be having a, a low backlight so if we want it to to generate your own backlight you can put like voltages than five to that pin which is the body led and then our model is is the heart of our model is a PCF 857040 which is 8 bit multiplex it change the serial data from the arduino to 8 bit it means to that 7 to that 8 bit which will supply the 
the LCD. Now the 16 by 2 LCD connection with I the 16 by 2 with I2C connection to the Arduino is quite simple. You see that the VCC will be connected to the plus 5 volts of Arduino and then the ground which is white one also will be connected to the ground of Arduino. Then you have to pay attention on SCR and SDA of Arduino the S sorry the SDA the SDA of of the module will be connected to the A5 of Arduino and then the SCR of the I2C module there will be connected to A5 of Arduino respectively that is where the I2C communication of Arduino Uno lies. It's a, it's a on A, A4 and then A5. If you finish connecting with it, let's move with the programming. Okay, for that you have the Arduino program installed the programming part is all about installing the library of liquid crystal display i2c if you don't have it suppose that you download it on the link shared in the description below you will come here to sketch then go to include then add zip library because that link that i provided in a Description below contain the zip file. Go to add zip, and then the computer will go directly to where the zip file is. Go mine my computer self downloads or download folder in download directory. Click double click there, and then you can come scroll a bit. Then here it is liquid crystal. In my Arduino IDE, the library is already installed, so there is no need to install it back. But once for you, if it is not installed, you can click to open and then go. Then the computer will display display this message: the library is installed. So once you are done, you can come to File, Example, then go down there to see the I2C. Then you come here to hello world you can find there the example program now as you have the the library installed let's see how the program to display the message works i will try to explain some of the functions there all right as you see here is the program to display the message the message uh, as it is shown there in the comment Hello, it's a K2K Electronics. You see, it is not very big program. Uh, you see, I started including the library for wire.h for I2C. And then the second will be the liquid crystal library. The third will be the to attach. Of course, tell Arduino this is the liquid crystal display I2C which is connected. You see, that is made by the address of i2c then the size then never the setup you see there i started by initializing the lcd by lcd dot init i can delete that line that cost is useless it was double t then i begin the backlight lcd dot backlight then I started by writing the message by positioning the liquid crystal dot set cases for positioning the liquid crystal lcd dot print is for printing the message and I print string as usual in a C programming or C++ that is the position where I start writing 
then the second message as this i put that code in uh, for the setup because i want it to run once of course i will display that message and then without uh, deleting it it will stay there permanently after all i write the program i compile it and when it is done compiling i will hit upload all right now you see that it is done compiling let it try to hit upload go to arduino first to see if the board and the, the com port is selected carefree so it is done let me hit upload all right you see that it is done uploading now after you are done uploading the result will be looking just like that now as we are done with the second part of the program let's move to the second one which will be the display of like uh, the readings which is obtained from the for loop which is iterating or oh, at this part we will be also using the the void loop which will run the code that run continuously the program that we rely on on it it means the firmware on which the code will run is this you see we will first display the message as usual, usual a welcome message saying welcome or hello to hello it's k2kith and then you see the second part in a void loop is made by for loop the first part is for loop which I iterate from 0 to 15 it means 16 iteration to mark the functionality of all pixels so i want that the number should change of course it should increase by one but also displaying the the results it means the outcome number in the in the following pixel now you see the program is as the first one i will not spend time on that But let's go directly to the void loop. You see, I started by clearing the message that was on our CD. Then you have a full loop of 16 iterations. Then the, to set the castle, I use the number, the outcome from the iteration, the i. If it is incremented, also the position of the castle will change. Then I print that value of i after writing and compiling the program i upload it as before then the results is like this now you see that the code is done uploaded then there is there is the result you see that it is counting the pixels on the first row and then the second row and the one once it is done with 15 pixels it will start from zero it is going from pixel zero to pixel 15. okay guys i hope that you enjoyed the video the name was Alex and then this is K2KITH. Consider subscribe to stay with me on this channel for the upcoming video update notification. Thank you.